When it comes to Halloween parties, why not go all out from the invitations to play settings, food and cocktails? We are breaking it all down. Event planner Frank Andonopoulos is here to teach us how to create the most show stopping Halloween party ever. Frank, you always are over the top and this table <laughs> does not disappoint. It looks Fabulous. Thanks, Fabulous. Yes. Well, it is great to be back after 19 months. This is yes. my first live segment. We've done the Zoom many stuff over the them. past year, yeah. many of them. Mm -hmm. COVID updates to events. So anyway, let's talk about live parties. I today. love the color scheme, yeah. first of all. Yeah. Orange and purple. That is Halloween all day yeah. long. Added, added the purple in just to be a little different. So the big thing that I'm trying to say now is go small because people are still entertaining on a small basis, but they are... Um, going big yeah. lots of details lots of creating an experience so i do small events just as much as i do the big lavish events uh, i have a client who actually has her own personal chef i do everything but the food but okay, a lot of great. times i'm called in to just do a an intimate dinner or party for five six seven people so. yeah and every detail on that table is exquisite thank you thank tell you tell us very how you've much. laid the table out yeah well it all starts with the invitation so okay. i always say think beyond paper so what I've come up with is a wooden box, and when you open the box, it's filled with um, retro Halloween candy, and then the invitation is actually mounted into the side of the box. Um, the other thing, I am not a costume person. Okay. So on here it says creative hat attire. We went to a party several years ago where I was like, oh God, I hate dressing up. So <laughs> it just said, wear a fun hat. And that's what we did. And I thought, okay, that, that, that worked. So mm -hmm. highly recommend that. Okay. That alternative, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Quick tips for starting the party. Decorate your door and your entryway. It sets the tone as guests arrive. Greet them with a cocktail at the door. Very nice touch. Yeah. And if you're gonna do a cocktail hour for small people, don't do it an hour, do a half hour. And three to four bites a person is all that you need because okay. you don't need anything more than that. Okay, oh, okay. All right. Do you do signature drinks? Or? Oh, totally. You wanna totally theme it to the, to the party, definitely. Okay. Um, there's all kinds of great Halloween Cocktails that I was going to show, but that could have been a whole segment oh, right, by itself. Right, right. So, okay. Anyway, set a wicked table. Yes. I'm all about that. So rent stuff. Don't use your regular or mix stuff that you own with stuff that you rent. Uh, today, Tablescapes uh, provided all these awesome things that I picked out. BBJ did the linen, and Desiree's Chocolates did the place cards, which actually are candy apples. Mm -hmm. That's so so cool. again, elevated a little bit. Yeah. Um, Floral go exotic. I went with black calla lilies. Anna mm. Held Floral Studio did these. And again, it's keeping the colors and exactly what we're doing so everything is working through. Picked exotic flowers. Um, the protea, which I think is really cool. I, I love, it's kind of spooky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. again, you gotta keep that vibe going. And then all the paper goods that go with it, your menu cards, the, the tags that are the place cards, all carry through from the invitation. So yeah. again, it should be seamless. What are the lights that you have in the pumpkins there? I see twinkling. Okay. I took last night and carved these little pumpkins, which was a lot more work than I expected. <laughs> I just popped in the little oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. the little tea lights, just for safety purposes, sure. but a tea, a tea light will work perfect in here. Okay. And, and again, it just elevates your, um, your votive from a glass just yeah. to something a little bit more. And these are really inexpensive and available at grocery stores and big back stores mm -hmm. and just takes a little time to carve them out. But even even your do. glassware, you got a little theme yep. going yeah. on Yeah, I'm all about colored glassware. I always do a colored water goblet usually, but this time I found the perfect color, so yeah. it worked. So the, the wine and the water are both in the orange and the uh, black, so. So when you're talking about the kind of food that you might serve at an over-the-top dinner party, like this, what would you suggest? First of all, you eat with your eyes. Right. I say that every time. So came up working with Blue Plate Catering with some spooky but spectacular dinner items. So I did a soup, which I call a witch's brew, which is actually a winter bisque, uh, and I put it in an acorn squash, so it kind of resembles a, 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 um, a cauldron. Yeah, yeah thank cool. you. And um, if you'll notice, there's purple gook coming off of it, Ooh. which is actually kale pesto. Oh. <laughs> so creative. And okay. then for the salad, went with 
uh, charred radicchio and hazelnuts, and then a roast beet, which kind of resembles an eyeball in the center of the oh, salad. So, okay. And Crazy. then you could also serve an intermezzo. I didn't show that today, which is the uh, sorbet to cleanse the palate. Mm -hmm. And then the entree, I call the internal organ entree. <laughs> it's actually roasted lamb chops, whipped Peruvian purple potatoes, green cauliflower with a red wine pudding, which resembles blood. Ooh. So spooky and delicious all at the same time. That is so cool. And then the dessert? Desserts, uh, I always say, well, Julia Child said, it's not a, uh, a party without a cake, it's just a meeting. Okay. So <laughs> Cake Chicago came up with this real spooky cake today with the creepy crellies all over it. And then if you don't want to do a cake, you could do just individual desserts. And Desiree's Chocolates did some great pickup sweets here today for us today. There's a pumpkin cupcake and a uh, creme brulee and a tombstone. Oh, so just tombstone. fun stuff. Super and then cute. always to, uh, love to pair dessert with a wine. Our favorite at home, we call this Kool-Aid for adults. Uh -huh. It's an Asti, it's a uh, Moscato de Asti. Uh -huh. Really good, nice touch. And also send a bottle with your guests home of this. It's kind of a nice touch at the end of the party. So. That is really so nice. So again, this is a intimate kind of dinner party, a gathering, but you're going over the top Correct. to keep it fun and just a showstopper right. or something yeah. to talk right. about. I've learned that guests remember the details. Yeah, absolutely. And what I do with any client is I sit down and talk about their expectations and how can I make this a memorable experience for their guests. And it's through the details. It is. I, I had a woman details. come up at a wedding one time and said, oh my God, the ribbon on the napkin was the same ribbon on the invitation. I'm like, thank you for noticing. <laughs> Yes, you're like I remember. You know, you did the thing, and people are are picking it up. That yeah, is fantastic. Exactly. Awesome, Frank. All thank right, you Frank, so much. Always wonderful ideas. A beautiful table. Yeah. Great ideas. Thank you, Frank, for coming in. Frank's information. So cool. We can put it up there on the screen. This is how you reach Frank. He has a website. His social media handles. Frank Indianapolis with Frank Event Design. Frank, thank you so much. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, girls. Great to be back.